Hi everybody, it's me, Queen Sue Prepper. Um, yesterday our city was issued a tornado warning. Uh, we didn't get a tornado here, but one did touch down about 30 to 40 minutes west of our city. So we were very lucky that we didn't get <laughs> we didn't get one here. It's just kind of ironic because they were just talking about the 100 year anniversary of a cyclone that hit our city, which was a very bad tornado 100 years ago. It had killed over 200 or 300 people um, and I think they said like 30,000 people were left homeless and it just leveled our city. And that was like 100 years ago and then like 100 years later this is what happens but we're very lucky. So um, what really struck me was the amount of people that were totally unprepared because I was getting all kinds of Facebook status updates about how scared people were how they have no light source, they have no no flash, no flashlights, that they have no power, uh, no candles, all they have are their cell phones, their cell phones are dying, blah blah blah. Kids are freaking out because you know mom and dad's freaking out and mom and dad's not prepared. And I don't know, it on one hand it I feel sympathetic towards them, and on the other hand, it kind of pisses me off because you know what? The onus is really up to the individual, right? And I don't think that kids should have to suffer in fear or terror because their parents are being morons and not preparing and not being able to provide that sense of security or at least having some sort of plan in place for any type of natural disaster that can happen in our province, you know? Um, Things that we need to prepare for here with regards to, you know, natural catastrophes and disasters are things like flooding, tornadoes. We are in the northern part of Tornado Alley, so why would you not be prepared for something like that? Um, extreme winter weather, um, way back in the early to mid 2000s, somewhere in there, uh, the one day we were the coldest spot on earth. We were like minus 52 Celsius. At that particular day, we were colder than Antarctica. And our schools did not close. <laughs> My kids were so upset because they thought school would be canceled. School went on. Um, the farm kids didn't have to come in because buses wouldn't run past, I think, minus 35 or some damn thing, minus 38 Celsius. But if you lived in the city or you lived in town, you're still expected to go to school. Our schools don't shut down just because it gets cold. And even if it got severely cold, like minus 52 Celsius, our schools were still open here. Um, kind of makes me laugh because the boys just always talk about, like in the States, how folks get like snow days or, you know, if it gets a little cold or whatever. Or I think in eastern Canada too, there might have been some schools that would close down because of the snow. They used to always wish we could have that here, and we never ever did. It's kind of like in this province, it's like, you know what, it's winter, it's cold, it sucks, but suck it up and deal with it. Um, and that's kind of the attitude it is up here. It's like, you know, yeah, it, it's cold, you can literally freeze your dingleberries off here. and. And that's just the way it is. And it's like, you know what, suck it up and deal with it because it's not going to change just because you don't like it. But it could be made a little bit easier if you are prepared for it. Um, so extreme winter weather, flooding, tornadoes, um, you know, things like that. We even get mild earthquakes here. The last one that caused any damage was in 2008 that I know of, and that was in Esterhazy. Uh, which is a mining town, and I can't remember, I think there was two buildings that had collapsed um, with that earthquake. It was like four point something on the Richter scale. Not a big massive, massive earthquake, but enough to rattle some homes and rattle some bones and freak some people out. Um, we get them from time to time up here, but it's not like living in California. It's not a, a major concern where we are we get more tornadoes than we do earthquakes. We get, I guess, earthquakes every day, but they're so tiny that nobody even feels them. Um, and that's normal, um, but nothing that's really destructive or major. Um, but what really bothered me was all these parents, these people that were unprepared, 
that were scared out of their own minds and then <laughs> without even meaning to really terrify their own kids because think about it I mean little Johnny and little Susie they're looking up to you for reassurance they want you to be calm and they're looking to you for for that strength and if they look up at mommy and daddy who are crying and scared and panicked they're gonna obviously be upset you know and can you imagine the, the fear of a little kid you know your mom's all panicked or your dad's all panicked and you know races you down into the basement um, the power goes out and all you have is cell phone for light because you're not prepared and you're scared and you're updating your Facebook status without you know comforting your kids and then your cell phone starts to die and then once it's dead you're in the pitch black and that's it little Johnny and little Susie are gonna lose their bloody minds right um, you, you already scared the shit out of them if you're crying and you're screaming or, or freaking out I mean you're gonna terrify your kids be prepared have a plan and go over that plan with your family ahead of time you know do some drills with your plan so that if you need to implement that plan and put it into place that it becomes a second nature so you're not scaring those kids um, and that really bothers me that you know how unprepared so many of the parents were from yesterday that you know the talking about how scared they are on Facebook I don't care how scared you are I I'm worried about your kid that it's probably crying right now and you're too busy trying to update your Facebook status you freaking moron um, comfort your kid and try to be strong for your kid um, one thing I've always done like with my kids if we were ever kind of in a a scary situation or a situation that maybe you didn't feel too comfortable in or maybe even kind of embarrassing or whatever the case might be I always try to flip it and try to make it into like an adventure um, or you know something like that uh, if your kid has a favorite stuffed animal or a security blanket or something like that by all means let your kid take that with them right it, it brings them some sense of comfort and if you're acting like a freaking moron and you're losing your scruples and you're not being calm and reassuring to your child, well, at least they got a little bit of comfort, right? Um, it just, yeah, that really just pissed me off. Um, I don't think that kids should have to be scared and terrified. I mean, if that's a natural reaction should something like that happen. But if they're looking to mommy and daddy for support, mommy and daddy are scared and terrified, which of course I'm not saying you can't feel those emotions, but get it under control. If you got little ones that you need to worry about, pull your, yourself together, slap yourself upside the head and go, okay, wait a minute, you know, I gotta be the grown up here, I gotta comfort these little ones. You know, it makes it worse if they're screaming and flipping out. Try to comfort them, try to calm them down. And then it also kind of takes your mind off your own sense of, you know, fear, worry. Kind of calms you down. Not saying that you won't be scared or worried, but you know, get it together for your kids at least. Um, go to the dollar store and buy yourself a whack load of candles or flashlights and batteries, and keep them in various places in your home. Keep one in your bedroom, in your nightstand. Keep one under the bathroom sink. Keep one underneath the kitchen sink or wherever, right? Keep one in your living room, in your den, in your basement, you know, and know where they are so that if you happen to be at whatever place you are in, in your home, whatever room, and the power goes off, you don't have to go, shit, I'm on the third floor, and, you know, <laughs> the, uh, the flashlight's down in the kitchen, which is on the first floor, and... Now I gotta creep down like three flights of stairs to get to the, the flashlight. You know, keep them throughout your home so that you don't have to put yourself in that kind of harm. A potential harm, you know, tripping, falling, getting hurt, that kind of thing, so you can't see, right? Um, it's just, but the lack of preparedness, just the lack of, um, of being able to, to hold their own emotions together really struck me. Uh, the kids that were scared, um, 
really struck me. It's just kind of like, you know what, as parents, you, you need to, to be a woman, be a man, and get it together, and do what you need to do to keep your family safe and calm. Try to keep them calm. You know, try to, you know, have some storybooks or something that they can play with. You know, maybe some glow-in-the-dark toys or crayons or, you know, something just so that they can pass the time and kind of calm down and that it can kind of take their mind off of what's going on outside, right? And also, <laughs> you need you need to pack something for yourself too, whatever it is. I don't know, put it in a duffel bag, have it wherever. If, if you know that you're going to be in the basement, if there's a tornado, maybe keep the bag underneath the steps or whatever in the basement um, filled with some things that you can do in the dark. <laughs> you know, play glow in the dark, light sticks, whatever the case might be. Have some extra flashlights or candles or whatever some, you know, little first aid kit, things like that, so that if you're racing down into the basement and you're going to go and hide in the corner or whatever, you can grab that duffel bag and take it with you, you know, because it's already down in the basement, it's all waiting for you to be your little tornado bag, um, whatever the case might be. Uh, it just, it really bothered me that kids were getting scared because their parents were so unprepared and the parents were scared themselves and were of no use really to their kids. It just, that's just uncalled for. So be prepared. That's all I gotta say. <laughs>